my name is Annie and I'm 10. And I'm Kaylee and I'm 9. And it's time for Irish, Irish Dance Maniacs. For today, we're going to work on all the skills that you need to know for Irish dancing. So let's get started. So the first one is turnout. You want to keep this diamond shape in between your legs the whole time when you are dancing. And we'll get onto this later, but the one way that will really help with your turnout is be crossing. So this is what it would look like. You're going to have one, two, three, so it's turn. And she's having her feet really, really. So that is our first skill, which is turnout. So our second very important skill is pointing. You'll know when you're pointing because if you roll up your, your pants a little, you should see her muscle pointing or really sticking out. Her toe muscles are pointing and her muscle on her leg should right now be popping out a lot and really showing. Cash muscle. Her calf muscle will be doing that. So she'll show us, so Kelly will show us her hot one, two, threes. So that's all about pointing. So our third skill today will be crossing. It's, as I said before, it turn out can also help us crossing as well as it can help us turn out. So when you cross, you will also want to see this very nice diamond shape in between both of your legs. And now Annie will show us some help. One, two, threes. Well, she is going to watch it cross. So now, we will be talking about posture. Posture really includes both your face or head and your arms or more of your shoulders. So for your head, if you sometimes have trouble, like I do sometimes, you can go against the wall. And sometimes you could put a block up there. Line up your face. You might want your face a little high. And then step out. Your posture, your head will look very nice. And then for your arms, you could roll back your arms. So that's posture. So our next skill today will be toes. Basically being really, really high up on your toes. very difficult and it requires flexibility I'll tell you that and it's high kicks so you usually have a better foot for this for Kelly it's her right so she will demonstrate a high kick and now her left Right kicks require straight knees, as you saw that Kelly did, and pointed toes, and your leg must be turned out, or foot also, and your leg must be crossed a little bit, but not too much. So Kelly will demonstrate again. And 
that is about your high kicks. So one of our skills would be arms. Posture also goes with arms too. So your arms want to be right by your side and you can feel them touching your legs or your thighs. But if you feel your arms going back a little bit, that means your arms are bent in the back. And sometimes they call it Superman's cape, like you're holding a cape behind your back. And you don't want that. And normally you have that when you're doing overs because you jump a lot. So you want to make sure when you jump, you want to keep your arms right by your side. So basically at all times, keep your arms by your side. And Annie will now demonstrate some of her overs while her arms by her side. And her arms stayed by her side. Now she'll show us her left. And her arms stayed by her side. So that is one of our skills called arms. Thanks for watching and tune it again on Dance of Maniacs!